So, <laughs> we got our first trailer, and like I was saying in, a, in the previous video talking about Toho, I now am fully convinced we are going to be getting a Godzilla X Kong New Empire trailer this weekend, if not Monday at the latest. But this trailer kind of just kind of proved that, and I was like, yeah, we're, we're getting a trailer. We're, we're straight up getting a trailer at this point for Godzilla X Kong, because this trailer dropped right the fuck out of nowhere, and I am all around excited. I am very much excited uh, for that. So... This is going to be this guys is going to be fun. And this is one of the most one of the movies I'm most excited for this year and that is Furiosa. So, Furiosa, a chapter in the Mad Max saga as it's fully called, I think it is. Um this is a movie that I was afraid wasn't going to happen because it had been like George Miller had basically been fighting with uh, Warner Brothers and other stuff regarding the Mad Max property. And this is a movie he's wanted to do. Like, basically, this is the story he wanted to tell with this character. And yeah, and Furiosa, played by Charlize Theron, was a, it was a fan favorite for the franchise. And this is a movie a lot of us have wanted, um, and hopefully this will lead to a new Mad Max movie. I am really am hoping this leads to a new Mad Max film. Um, have Tom Hardy back. I think that would be really cool to have uh, Tom Hardy back in the franchise, but I'd be cool with whoever's playing Max. Regardless of this film, no matter what, this is a movie that I am very much anticipating. I've been worried about it, and I was actually afraid it got cut. I legit was afraid it got cut in some, you know, shape or form. I was genuinely, genuinely concerned of the fact that Zaslov and every and the rest of Warner Brothers higher ups decided, oh, tax break time. Just gonna cut this. Yeah. Also, Zaslov, you're not you're not a brave person for cutting these movies. You're an idiot. But that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about the trailer. First and foremost, holy Jesus, does Anya Taylor Joy like devol like looks like she's already like absorbed in the role. Like if you didn't tell me that was Anya Taylor Joy, I would not believe you. So I already think, like, I'm going to... Uh, like, Anya Taylor-Joy is an actress that I... I don't hate, but I uh, but I haven't seen something outside of Last Night in Soho that made me go, oh, shit, Anya Taylor-Joy. Having said that, though, after watching Last Night in Soho, I do know that she's an incredible actress. But this is, like, something she's not... She hasn't done before. So I'm hoping that she has, like, the... Ch uh, like the acting power to do this I'm really rooting for her and already like I'm already impressed that she's like already div uh, like absorbed herself into the role but I really am hoping that this makes me go holy shit this move it like this character is going to become Charlize Theron's Furiosa that's what I really want to walk away from this and I do th so I am holding out hope that she do uh, that she is capable of that um the style so George Miller it is, it, it is very clear when you see this. It's like, yeah, we're back on the Fury Road, all shiny and chrome. <laughs> oh, what a lovely day. What a lovely fucking day. But this, um, we get to see more of a, Mo a Morton Joe. We get to see the universe itself, more of the universe. And this, um, and this landscape apparently takes 45 years after the, after the world's war after world war three basically the great fire that destroyed all of mankind so this is like uh, like a cool place in time 45 years after the end and it basically tells you in this trailer this is the story of how furiosa became the woman we know her to be so i'm i want to see the green place i want to see like what the place that you know um furiosa grew you know, grew up in, and, you know, the thing that she always told the other brides about, and, you know, told them about. And we do get a quick glimpse of it in the trailer, but I want to, I can't wait to see what the green place looked like, and what it, you know, the thing that, like, it, you see that moment where just Furios just screams in the night. I want to have that moment where she, uh, like, I want to see why that is. And just some, uh, there's some great action in here. We get to see some war boys, I doubt we'll see Nox, I, I, because he, Nux, he'll, he's not born yet. This is He's probably like a baby at most. I 
am curious about Chris Hemsworth character. I literally forgot he uh, he was in this movie. I legit forgot that Hemsworth uh, was in this film, but I am excited. I don't know if he's going to play a villain or a character who is going to be an ally to Furiosa. That's the thing about Mad Max movies. You really don't know what um, where everyone's allegiances lie. So it's going to be really cool to see how that plays out. I'm very excited um, to see how all of this is going to come together and how it is going to you know, shape that, you you know, shape what we know as Mad Max Fury Road. Um, yeah. And like I said before, if it wasn't obvious now with this whole CinemaCon thing going, I am damn sure now that either tomorrow or sometime this weekend, we are going to get a trailer drop for Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. I am very sure at this point. Like I said, like, I was thinking, like, tomorrow at the earliest... Monday at the latest. No, I'm now certain it's going to be. So, it might be sometime this week. I am like 90% sure at this point. But having said that, though, Furiosa, this trailer, I was very excited. I'm very excited for this movie. It's one of my 12 most anticipated movies of the year. And yeah. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of the trailer for Furiosa? Did you guys like it, hate it? Comment below, let me know. Once again, um, hope you all enjoy this. And also, if you guys haven't already, hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, um, and hit the first, and you guys can hit the uh, first here, and that'll allow you access for polls as well as movie reviews and episode reviews of Monarch Legacy of Monsters. I'm also debating if I'm going to put episode reviews of Has Been Hotel on there when they start coming out in January. But for right now, that's where Legacy of... If you want to check out Legacy of Monsters, that's just the first tier. If you want to... Uh, and also, I'll be dropping my review of Godzilla Minus One tonight. I will be dropping that review tonight. So, if you, and that's, that's a first tier stuff, because that's theatrical. But also, if you guys want to have Patreon requests sent, uh, um, done by me, uh, that's third tier, and that also gives you access to all the other stuff on Patreon as well. But other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.